What it do, flight crew? FTC. Flight team, stand up! January feeling sunny. We about to get this money. Just came off a reaction to a previous NBA game. I'm not going to say which for those who didn't catch it yet. Don't want to spoil it for y'all. So hopefully, Wimby can cheer the mood up. The Spurs versus the Milwaukee Bucks. The Bucks with a jump ball. Chris Wary, Michael Red Middleton. Quarters looking like somebody's uncle. Who else? Lopez and Brooke. Dane Dalla. How did I forget about Dane? The rest are nobodies. The Spurs. Wet bananas. Sohan. Uh, Vaseline, Johnson and Kelton, Trey Jones, Zach Collins, and the rest are nobodies. Check it out. Wemby versus the Kumpo. Little nine, nothing run early on by the Milwaukee Bucks. They got Middleton, who is free to fire again over Wembenyama. He knocks it in the deuce. And I just wanted to let you know, Brooke Lopez is like seven feet, too. He made Lopez look like he's like 5'8". Look how much of a vert Wimby has. What I didn't even notice, I think Wimby low-key has like a 35, 40-inch vert, bro. Like, this is crazy. Nobody should be able to spend dunks like this. And by the way, uh, I'm going to shout out the subtitles right after this game. So, super sorry. But, bro, this is crazy. To be honest, I don't even know why Wimby, he can really abuse the spin layup shit. Like, the way, you know how it is in 2K and everything like that. Really easy. Just rise above everybody. That's nice. Now, Wimby, you need to be guarding Kunko. Stop letting Sohan guard him. Sohan's guarding uh, Kunko again. I want to see Wimby versus the Kunko all game. Shot of subs and dunks. Dame Dollar. Trey Jones to finish. Got Johnson and Kelder. Bottoms. Jones goes by Collinson and over Lopez. Okay. Dane Dollar, whoa. That ain't your shot, bro. Mm -hmm. Where is Wimby at, bro? This is a, but it's supposed to be a Wimby versus a Kunfo matchup. Put him in the game. Bro, I'm about to cuss out Greg Popovich, bro. Put Wimby in the game, bro. It's supposed to be a Kunko versus Wimby. This is a nationally televised game, man. Fuck wrong with this man, dog. A Kunko ain't, a Kunko ain't get out one time in the first quarter. Finally. I ain't gonna lie, bro. I'm just, bro. I've had massive respect for Popovich for a long time, bro, since the Tim Duncan days. Nice Duncan, punk, bro. But, bro, I'm trying not to cuss him out during the season. Holy shit! Oh! This is why Popovich. You. Let me chill. 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 This is why you keep. Him in the fucking game. This is the number one overall pick. This is a generational inspirational talent, bro. This is a generational inspirational talent. Popovich, you've been in the damn fucking sports world for how long, bro? Longer than I've been alive? At least 30 plus years? You ever seen no talent like this? He washes Tim Duncan. He washes Tony Parker. He washes David Robinson. I think you coached him. I don't know. I don't remember. He watches all the talent that you face in the NBA Finals in the early 2000s. Keep this man in the game for 30 plus minutes. Because this is going to happen. Look at this. Portis is somebody's uncle was even scared to contest that. This is crazy. He did a Euro step off the glass. Doug, you can't make this up. You can't make this up. Look at that. Kumpo's even nervous being guarded by him. 
When have you seen a Tug Mo lose a ball like that? I mean, I seen him one time when it was like a game winner, potentially for that. So on, coast to coast. A combo is shut. Get that out of here! Porter Lewis, I'm going to go! Nice block. Porter's. Bro, seven feet. You barely jump. <laughs> Two, it's put down Brooke Lopez, 16 last night at Johnson Indiana. Johnson McKeldon, pass to 26. Middleton, long shot, his shot is right on. It's Jones. In Trey the Jones, dude. Nice it's shot. Wemby's not in the game again. The Kumpo is. The Kumpo has played. Kumpo's been playing every second of the game. Probably went out for like two minutes. Dame Dollar, Lopez. That nigga just elbowed the shit out that man. This is crazy, bro. Why isn't Wimby in the game, man? Vaseline, dude. Damn, he got ripped. Lillard, fast break in the gun ball. It's too easy. Ten day contractor in the corner. Selfish play there by Sohan the missing. Wimby with a bump back. Climbing the ladder. And that's back to back offensive rebounds that allowed the Spurs to get that bucket. Middleton shots. By Middleton. Got a cut bow. Ah, uh, Wimby got to block nice those. Right there by Giannis Antetokounmpo. Miller, the point guard. Ice scoop wow. right there by Dean. But we had the slow start to start that first quarter. Champagne is down the baseline. Rejected by Lopez. One of the top shot blockers in the NBA. Antetokounmpo galloping soars for two. And had a help in the There's Wimby. Wimby driving on Lopez. Damn. Oh, look at that. Look at the defense. Wimby fast breaking. Take it on Lillard. Oh! Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Yo. Fuck that nigga. He's going up in the rankings. He's better than Larry Bird. He's nowhere. Larry Bird is nowhere near on his niggas level. He's moved up on the rankings on Larry Bird. Who else? Who else? Who else? Who else? Who else? Who else? He has to be better. He has to be better than a lot of other niggas right now, bro. Holy shit. I was so close to saying LeBron, but he needs one ring. As Wemby just needs one ring and he might just be better than LeBron. Holy fucking shit, dog. Yo, you can't make this up. This dude is different. Holy shit. He has to move up in the rankings, bro. I'm so glad I didn't drop this top 100 rankings yet. It's, it's literally about to drop. This is the reason why, because I'm still evaluating a lot of the league right now, bro. Wemby just went up a lot, a couple of slots in these ratings, bro. Matter of fact, I'm not going to tell you the exact slot he's at in my top 100 official all-time NBA ratings, but he's 100%, 100%, 100% in the top seven. I've been saying he's been top seven right now and of all time, but right here, this is validated right here. Obviously, behind the scenes, I had to scope it out. There's other players that I thought that could have potentially, you know what I'm saying, be over him in that seventh slot. But right here, this is a valid reason for him to be in that top seven slot. All Wimby needs right now is literally one championship ring, bro. And to be honest, he'll be placed in the top three spot. And I said it. Bro! That's lucky a flagrant foul, too. Am I tripping? Lopez didn't have to push him that hard. Yeah, he pushed him low key. Careful, old man. Don't be injuring Wimby. This is the face of the NBA in a couple of years. Relax. This dude is full of talent, bro. Look at this. Flex on him, Wimby. Wait till Wimby gets like 15 more pounds of muscle too, bro. Wimby literally in the offseason needs to be like lifting weights six days a week. Playing basketball one time out of that week. 
Wemby again? Bro, 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 bro. Wemby, talk your motherfucking shit right now. Talk your shit right now. Talk your shit right now, bro. Because you are him! Bro, look at this, look at this animation right here you just did. Look at this, bro! Yo! Man, dog. Man. Wimby? Damn. This is even tough to say, bro, but I feel like Wimby's gonna make... Wimby's gonna make people forget about other big man legend Hall of Famers like Shaq and the Hakeem Olajuwans and the Patrick Chewings. Hear me out. I don't. Even, I'm gonna still be talking about them and bringing them up in the conversation because you know I have that real knowledge. But bro, give it about ten years when more of the social media, like more of like the um the uh the YouTubes or the TikTok type of shit evolves more and whatever that, bro. The next generation, they're not gonna be talking about the Shaqs and the and the, and, and the Patrick Chewings and the Hakeems. They're probably only gonna be talking about Will Chamberlain, and that's because he has the highest. Um, scoring points per, uh, points in a game and then be a history that's probably never going to be broken and everything like bro honestly the, the next few years they're going to be talking about Wimby they're going to be talking about Jokic uh, Kunkpo uh, maybe Embiid and Wilt Chamberlain bro and uh, and maybe Kareem too I'll, I'll throw that in there but I feel sorry for a lot of these big men bro they're going to get washed away bro because bro check me out hear me out <laughs> If Shaq was had the shot a shot like this back in the day, bro, we all know it's gonna hit the top of the scoreboard. He's gonna be crucified in the media for at least two weeks, saying, "Why are you trying to shoot this and that?" Wimby, on the other hand, bro, they just sit back and watch, enjoy, and amazement, bro. This guy right here is evolving the game. And to be honest with you, also hear me out too. I'm gonna I'm about to unpause the video. My bad. Hear me out too. This is also a dangerous thing too, because what I'm also noticing, if you, bro. Ha have you been feeling like I even hate to even say it too because I feel like I'm tall myself. I'm six three and a half. Sometimes I feel like on six four, depending on what shoes they wear. But all just aside, bro. Listen here, bro. The the height. If you're anything, I feel like in the next two or three years, anything six six and below, I feel like you low key too short to be in the NBA. You know, players like Wimby's gonna make niggas like they gonna make the height like accelerate. They're gonna have like the new. So basically, okay, so hear me out. If you was like a 6'8 or 6'9, 6'10 center, bro, you can dominate the NBA in the 70s and the 60s and stuff like that. But nowadays, that's barely a small forward. Bro, 6'6, 6 6'7 6 6 is like the Lamella ball heights. That's going to be the normal, bro, for point guard. 6'4 is an under, bro. That's going to be the new five feet, bro, in the next five years. Wimby's going to increase the height, bro. You know what I'm saying? He's going to mess up the entire way people draft heights. Middleton is. Because there's even guards that's my height, and I literally shoot way better than him from beyond the arc. So imagine you're a guard, you can't even consistently shoot the three, but Wimby over here can just shoot the three with his eyes closed. Damn, a combo, chill out, bro. Chill out, a combo. That wasn't a poster, by the way. It was just. Bro. All right, a combo, man, bro. What's going on, man? And that was with determination Yeah, still, it was the same thing like the John Morant dunk, too. It was the same thing. It was like a hard layup. To be honest, let's be honest. Real poster dunks, you have to cock it back on one hand. Like, you have to have a one-handed dunk for it to count as a poster. Two-hand dunks. Two-hand... I'm trying to think of an animation. Yeah, two-hand dunks, unless you do some shit like, let's say, you're going up for the dunk right, and you cock it back like this. I forgot, I think it was J.R. Smith that did that one animation when he was with the Nuggets back in the day. That's a poster when you do some shit like that. But if you just go up straight ahead like a regular rim grazer, that ain't no poster, bro. That's really a hard layup if you want to be honest. The jam and push the up Wimby with the cut. Yes. Wimby with the finish. And how about the backside on Giannis. Giannis will drive a full head of steam. Burging for two. Here comes Jones on the wing. The sound. Vaseline, dude. Damn. Quarters also been rough for both these teams. With a three, Andre Johnson is on top to watch the cell. The tie by the center. Got it. The tie and 20. Got a cut, folks. Take full advantage of the mid-match. 
Devin Dushnell with the three. Man, he is absolutely on fire here for the Spurs. Inside scoop. Dean Dollar. Beautiful penetration by Damian Lillard. Onto the goal. Oh, 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 oh. Dunkle's been working on the shot, it looks like. He's been taking that advice, I've been saying. Oh. Got Johnson to kill him. Whoa! Yo! Johnson and Keldon again. Oh shit! I might need to make an apology in a second. Oh my fucking gosh! Yo, I did not know that nigga had a bag like that. I ain't gonna lie to you. Just Johnson and Keldon. Just remember this: is keep passing the ball to Wemby because Wemby is a face of your team. And he's a franchise player. He's a superstar. He's the king of San Antonio, Texas. Um, he's he's the king. But Johnson, I'm not gonna lie to you, can make a smooth second option player. I'm not even gonna lie to you, I didn't know he had a bag like that. What the fuck, bro? Nigga just casually did a fucking reverse windmill? Bro look like... Bro look like a mini Vince Carter, man. Dame Dollar? We're talking about Wimby. Bro, he owns Brooke Lopez, bro. Wimby has 23 so far, and he blocked it! Dame? <laughs> Vaseline dude with a three. Dame? Layup. Ooh. Holy Vaseline dude Damn 113, 113-112 Pretty good game so far Trey Jones With the floater Damn What the hell Ah Wimby I thought blocked those Bro Wimby even making Kunkpo look short as hell 329 left to go. What is Popovich bitching about? Hold up. Is he talking? I'm assuming I hope Popovich is talking to the ref, right? You're not talking to Wimby like that, right? He's talking to the ref? He's just calling a play? Just making sure he's not talking bad about Wimby or he have to see me. I'm just playing. I'm not going to do nothing to pop this. Nah, but I'll just say, just treat Wimby right. Damn, a combo. Wide right, open. Okay. 121, 118. Oh! May have been a Goldson. I don't know. Wimby! Holy moly! It's 121 apiece! Damn! Bro, these feel like the playoffs. I wonder what the actual playoffs are going to be talking about this season. A Sunbo to the rat. Woo! Wimby with the rejection! Holy moly, nigga! A Kunpo got owned! A Kunpo got owned! A Kunpo got owned! A minute! A Kunpo got owned! 124, 121, they're down by three, Trey Jones! Sperms have no timeouts. Six seconds left. Wimby Loki was looking at Sohan. I mean, I would have honestly want Sohan to suit three. I mean, to be fair and to be honest, I do want Wimby taking the last shot, especially he is a king of San Antonio, Texas. Um, he's a king of this franchise and a franchise player and a superstar and the main character and everything. Um, but he was open. It's not like he was smothered. It's not like a Kunkpo was smotherly guarding him, picking him up full court. 
and then he shot the three. He's wide open. See, this is a, this is the very few times where I'm actually not even mad. Um, you know, at the team not giving the ball to Wimby, you know what I'm saying, to take over the game. Because, like, what's Wimby going to do? To me, in my actual opinion, if I'm Wimby and in Wimby's shoes, I'm just chucking this shot up, bro. I would have fake passed it to, uh, to Trey Jones in the corner and just took the smothered shot. Personally, if this is me. But I just think with Wimby being a rookie and not feeling all the way confident like that, because look, bro. He's being guarded by Damian Lillard. Damian Lillard is like six foot, um, maybe six one. I don't even know what they list him, but I think they try to say he's like six three. He definitely isn't. He's about like six one maybe. And then you have this uh, this is five day, ten day contract player, a little like an LA fitness player on like a Tuesday night guarding him. Like I would have just personally shot the ball, but he's wide open. That just comes from him being a rookie trying to be unselfish. I'm not mad at it. Would have liked them seeing him make the shot. Per I'm making that shot in my sleep. Wide open in the corner. That's my bread and butter. You see it with the IRLs. It's proven fast. And Giannis and Lillard score 25. Great ass game. Not mad at it. Good ass game. He was wide open. He just missed a shot. It's not like he was smothered. Hey. A Akumpo with 44 points and 14 rebounds with 7 assists. Good game. Good game. 25 for Dame Dollar and 10 assists. We have 12 uh, points. Five assists for uh, Wannabe Michael Red. 27 for Wimby in limited minutes again. Imagine if Wimby played like 30 minutes. Popovich, wait the fuck up. Play him 35 minutes. This 27 would have probably been like 35 minimal. I'm saying maybe 40 points with the weight of momentum Wimby had during this game. He also... What Popovich doesn't realize he's also doing with limiting his minutes, you're limiting also his averages of rebound. Bro, Wimby can easily be averaging 15 plus boards a game. You know what I'm saying? Like, the nine rebounds is too small, bro. Vaseline do that. 34 points? Wow. All right. So, to cap it off, you're saying he has an ankle injury. Let's look at NBA Chaz and see if there's any uh, two for ones. Got Wimby ignores Giannis after the game. No fucking way that guy went savage. There's been some insane games this season, but this one, I think, tops them all. The whole second half of this game was crazy, but I think the final minute and a half where it was just Giannis and Wemby just going head to head was actually just ridiculous basketball to watch. I don't think I've ever seen anything like it. Oh, both, you know, seven foot plus tall. Wemby had, I think, two blocks in the final minute and a half. Giannis had a big dunk. Wemby had a three. It was just insane. But you're probably wondering why Wemby left Giannis hanging after the game. It was because he was called for that illegal inbound. So he just left Giannis hanging. Damn! So, you know, ask what the, what's the left Giannis hanging after the game. It was because he was called for that illegal inbound. So he just left Giannis hanging and went straight to the ref to you know ask what the, what's the deal with that? Because I, I see that so much throughout every single game of basketball where someone probably doesn't get behind the line Damn. or they pass it before they actually I ain't even gonna lie to you Wimby if this was like in B to Joel I'd understand but bro Kunkbo's probably one of the more wholesome NBA players bro I, don't, I ain't gonna lie to you I can't even defend that um, they said that apparently it was him being mad at the ref about a knock call I could see him being mad at the ref potentially um, but I don't like that right here man <clears throat> I don't like that. A Kung Fu never really bothers anybody. He's just a superstar that comes um, to his job and then comes home and leaves. Um, and it never hopefully they can make this up or hopefully they can talk behind the scenes about it, man. But hey, I ain't gonna lie to you. Shit, that might make a sick-ass rivalry, though. <laughs> Wimby versus a Kung Fu for the next five years. Uh, but nah, this is definitely not, it's definitely not cancelable or anything like this. If you're gonna say this, then you have to cancel, uh, do some of the times when LeBron just walks off the floor whenever the game ends and doesn't dap anybody up. It, hella NBA players really do it. They're just probably mad at the heat of the moment and everything like that. And he went straight to the ref. So obviously he's mad at the ref or whatever happened. I'm pretty sure Wimby probably called a Kunkbo after the game and a Kunkbo probably nods him. Hey, hey, King. You know what I'm saying? I know 
um, you know, you're dominating the NBA right now and everything like that, and it, and it happens. Just don't, you know, don't not dap me up the next time. Everybody knows what Tunkbo probably said that, right? All right, uh, you said there's an interview. Let's check it out. Oh, here it is. Okay, here it is. Uh, House of Highlights has it. Here's uh, Wimby's interviews. Eight minutes. We won't have to watch the full thing. Let's see what it's feeling. So, like. um, you know the the design was to 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 fake uh, going for a pick and roll, but for actually going to a to a three for Devin, you know, and uh, and, and to kind of see what happens. But oh, it's Giannis. A, All right. Hold on one second. on facing I mean you talked about this one With one of the most exciting games of the year tonight it's been an adventurous is it this one Giannis on facing Wimby for your team losing to the Patriots no Bucks YouTube channel thank you Okay. This one, a Kunpo, he says, Wemby, there's no way he's 7 4. They have back to back, played Indiana last night. It was a tough one. We came here and won the game win. Uh, we knew that uh, Chris going to compete with the team uh, just for the first uh, half. So uh, we started being more lucky. Uh, Move the ball to you, but. Going way under. You've never seen anything. Bro, I can't find it, bro. It's not that serious, bro. Unless y'all find a similar clip, I'm not going to hear something with static in the background, bro. Low quality as interview. Y'all talking about this Palo clip. It's the last clip, and we'll end off the video. Bro, what clip are y'all talking about? Oh, I see it. Hold on. Boards. Tennis. So this is yesterday? Oh, he is, uh, something happened here on his boards. Ten assists. Oh, Bancaro. Oh, he is, uh... Assuming somebody stepped on his here. foot. He's not injured or nothing, huh? Didn't I see this the other night, I feel like? Boards. This looks familiar. Oh, Bancaro. Oh, he is, uh... Something happened here. Yeah, we seen this the other night. And y'all said he was good. Alright, uh, let's gonna end it off.